Hi, my name is Andy, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a dedicated Minecraft server running on Ubuntu 20.04. So first things first, we're going to log into our first server. And right here, I'm going to log into a local machine to run through the process. We're going to SSH our user at the IP address. Type in your super secret password. First thing that we will want to do is to run a sudo apt update on the system. And why we do this is we want to refresh and update all the packages in the system. Next, we're going to run a sudo apt upgrade with the yes switch to tell the system that yes, we want to update everything that's available. All right, with all of our packages updated, we're ready to get to the nitty gritty. First thing that we need to do, since we're going to run Minecraft knowing that it utilizes Java, is we need to check to see if Java is installed. You can do this by typing in Java version. You can see the system does not have Java installed. Notably, if you want to run a Minecraft 1.17 or prior server, you're going to want to use OpenJDK 8. And then if you want to run one a little bit newer, 1.20 or so, or 1.18, you're going to want to leverage OpenJDK 17. So let's install uh, OpenJDK 17. Let's go apt, install. Excellent. Once this is installed, what we can do next is create a folder for our Minecraft server to function in. So let's do uh, sudo make directory, let's call it mc. We can change directory or cd, cd, mc. Clean up our terminal window. And if we do a, a list context, contents, we have nothing in here. What we'll want to do next is for today's video, we're going to use paper. We're at the paper download page. You can right click, copy link address. And what we'll use to download the jar file into our directory is wget. So let's do sudo wget control V to paste in our copy link and run it. So now if we look again, we can see that the jar file has been downloaded. What I like to do is rename my paper um, or any jar file for that matter to server.jar just for simplicity when we fire up or start the server. And we can do that with sudo mv paper and server.jar. ls again, we can see that we've got our updated server jar. Next, what we need to do is to create the EULA file and agree to it. So Minecraft at first run will stop and ask you to adjust or accept the EULA. And how I like to do it is just to do touch eula.txt. Oops, sudo touch ula.txt. You can see the file exists now. So what we'll do next is sudo nano ula.txt and we'll do eula equals true. Control X. We're going to save it. Yes. Next, what we can do is start our server. And how we can do this um, is by running sudo java-jar xmx. And for this example, we'll use four gigabytes of RAM. So 4g xms 4g server.jar. And what paper will do is download the official Mojang jar, apply its patches, and then fire up our server. We've got Minecraft open here. Let's refresh and see if our super awesome Minecraft server is available. <laughs> Whoa, it is. Let's log in and check it out. Oh, here we go. We're playing. But once all your friends join, let's say that maybe you close this terminal window. Huh. What we see here 
is that the server was closed, the connection was lost. And why that happens is that the terminal window is managing everything. So if we open up terminal again, how we can prevent this is by using an application called Tmux. Let's log back into our machine. And what we can do is we'll change directory back to our Minecraft file folder. You can see we've got all of our stuff in here now. Um, to open Tmux, we'll do Tmux new hyphen S for session, and we're going to name our session. I like to name mine the version. You can name it whatever, it doesn't matter. And you'll see that the terminal window changes. We've got this green bar down here. So what we can do now is fire up our server again. What we can see now is the server is going to relaunch. Let's refresh. Server is back online. Let's log in. Look at that. Our server is back online again. So let's test it. Let's close this window can see that server is still online, even though we've closed out that terminal window. Hey, cool story, how do you get back? Easy enough. Open up a new terminal. Log back into your machine. And Tmux is really cool. You can have multiple sessions. So if we log back in here, you can see we're at the, the regular bash prompt and how to see or list out your session. Say maybe you forgot about what you named your Tmux session. We can do Tmux LS. You can see that right here we've got a 120. So if we want to connect to that, we can do Tmux attach T for target and 120. You can see we're back in here. Cool story. How do we get out? If we want to get back to the terminal and press control, hold control, press B, Release control and B, and then hit D. So control B, D. And then again, we can do Tmux attach, press T, 120. And for instance, if we wanted to stop this server, what we can do is we can do stop, and it's going to save all of our chunks. You can see uh, we could restart our, our Minecraft server here if we needed to. But if we wanted to close this Tmux session, we can do control B, then X. Down at the bottom, you can see bash prompt says kill pain yes or no yes if we do tmux ls you'll see we have no tmux sessions running so let's start our server one more time tmux new dash s for s session 120. all right so let's see we're in our home directory let's go to minecraft directory so cdmc all right we're in the right directory and let's fire up our server once more Server is back up. We can refresh and join. All right, you're back in business. Perfect way to quickly set up a Minecraft server. It'll work. Uh, this process will work with the vanilla jar, uh, many other different jars. It doesn't necessarily have to be a paper server. Um, any jar file will work for this process, uh, as will Tmux. So if you have another application that needs to run in the background, Tmux will work for that as well. So hope you all found this video educational and helpful and hope you have a good day.